falling down. down. It's, it's the Jody O. Johnson Show. When everybody's screaming in Jesus, hold it down. Jody O. Johnson Show on DFWI Radio. And that's brand new music right there from Governor Reese. You might not know who Governor Reese is, but you're about to find out because he's our special guest on tonight on the Antonio Johnson Show. We got DJ Wiz on the ones and twos. What's up, DJ Wiz? Yeah, man. You're excited about it, man. This is your first time hearing some of this music, man. Yeah, man. I'm feeling it. You yeah, know, yeah. 100%, man. All right. Now, he's got the DJ Wiz approval. So. I'll be cutting the yard with it tomorrow. All right. See, that's, that's <laughs> already important because DJ Wiz, he's just not by his tongue about this music. <laughs> 25 years, man. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. 25 years. heard a lot. All right. Now, in the studio, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together right now for Governor Reese from New Orleans, Louisiana. Man, what's going on, man? I'm good, brother. What's up, Mr. Johnson? I'm good. Man, it's an honor to have you here, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Let me just say this. I want to start it off by saying this, first of all, because I, I got on YouTube last night and and I played a song called I'm Gonna Live, which is from, from a, another CD. We're going to be featuring brand new music tonight, but I couldn't really get off of that, man. Wow. I'm Gonna Live, man. Wow. I couldn't I couldn't move. Wow. You had me paralyzed, brother. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to tell you what I like about love. you. I'm going to tell you what I like about you. And then we're going to get into, we're going to get into talking about some things. Because I really want to, I want to hear your testimony. I, I, I think what you have to share with everybody is, is something that can, you know, we have a misconception about gospel music, Christian hip hop, urban inspiration. What are, there are 59 million titles out here to this music form. But the thing about you, man, you can tell that you've been through something and in and, and a sense like God touched you, mm. brought you over this way. And you still didn't lose that street, you know what I'm saying, where somebody can feel like they, they could listen to you and understand what you've been through. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and that's what that's what I like, you know. And you got some things that happen in your life, like one of the things that you said in your, in your testimony, you said when you were young, not only did you sell cocaine, you, you use it, then you use heroin and and, and, and so on. Right. That's you know, that, that like, that's a big testimony, man, to come back around and be doing what you're doing, man. Mm -hmm. So I want, I want you to kind of walk us through your life a little bit, man. Get, get us uh, kind of up to this point from how you got to from – cocaine heroin to the streets to this mm. where you are right now today uh, cocaine uh was introduced to me at a very young age i was 15 years old um and uh you know that was kind of the thing in my city being living in new orleans and being raised in new orleans that was just the thing to be uh a lot of the rappers uh, glorified that kind of lifestyle and that kind of drug use you know because and every the hustlers and the gangsters on my block, that's what they did. You know, they sold drugs and they did drugs and they still look good doing it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our young, a, a lot of the young kids that was in the neighborhood, you know, we looked up to that. And so I started snorting cocaine and that was the worst decision I've ever made in my life. I was 15 starting cocaine and at 16 I started snorting heroin. By the time I was 18, I had overdosed. Wow. Um, yeah. You yeah. know when you when you say that thing about overdose, because you know old boy from uh from kid, you know from a uh, crisscross, mm -hmm. you know that's what everybody's saying happened to him, right. an overdose on that, and that's why he's no longer with us. And you know, God bless his soul, man. You know, but you didn't have you don't have that testimony because I mean that stuff can kill you. Absolutely, you know, and I'm grateful because my heart could have bust a long time ago, you know, uh, given how intense I was on it. You know, and how deep I was in my addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Lord just kept his hand on me through it all. And I'm grateful for that because I'm still mm -hmm. here standing. Because a lot of my friends who, I, you know, did drugs with growing up, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of crime activity that we did, you know, they, they some of them are not here. Many of them are not here anymore. Mm -hmm. And just to still be here and alive. Did, did you did you have a challenge, you know, kind of accepting doing your thing? Like, they're not going to listen to me, Lord. <laughs> you know, of all the stuff I've been through, why would they listen to me? I mean, did you go through that battle, man? Because, you know, I, I, oftentimes I talk to people who are called into this from a different way. Mm -hmm. I, usually when they talk to you know to me, they'll say, man, I was I didn't really want this. I was like, God, you can't come up now. Not me. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I'm going to do. You know, I, did you did you have that kind of testimony whatsoever? Well, I, I kind of felt like, you know, my life, my background and how I came up kind of validated me mm -hmm. to go in the places I was going with my ministry. Because, see, the music for me was ministry, okay. you know, and I felt like going, being able to go in the places where um, most 
uh, artists, gospel artists, or Christian artists, or inspirational mm -hmm. artists, yes. uh, don't go. I took that as a blessing, you know, and my ministry started out, you know, as far as my music and ministry is concerned, started out going into the projects, you know, we would set up, you know, the re revival tent and, 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 and we would have the speakers out and we would just rap and sing and rap and sing. And then right after that, you know, preach the word of God. And I, I would see, you know, I, I've seen guys, you know, come bring their guns and their bags of rocks. And they at the altar. You wow. know, so. Well, you know what? I want to do this because we have someone special on the line who wants to talk to you, man. And uh, uh, everybody might know him if you're in the business. You know, you already respect. You got D-Mob on your record. Already been endorsed. You're going to be doing something with Bizzle. So it, it already says to from the Christian hip-hop world that people are already embracing you. You were down doing uh, ministry with Trey Nine, uh -huh. uh, prison ministry. So, I mean, man, you're already doing the work. So, you know, sometimes yeah. people say, say somebody's new. You're not really new. Yeah, he was just on the backside of the mountain for, you know, yeah. a period of time, man. But anyway, on the phone lines with us, he is uh, recording an entertainment executive with over 20 years of experience under his belt. With a lifelong commitment to the delivery of excellence that continue to fuel his journey, cultivated by uh, um, Lyra Cohen, former chairman of Def Jam and the head of Warner Music Group North America, and Kevin Lyles, former president of Def Jam and CEO of KWL Enterprise. Ladies and gentlemen, with us right now, not only is he does the day-to-day -day operations for R&B superstar Trey Songs, but let me put your hands together right now for Joseph Brim on the phone. What's going on, Joseph? Yo? <laughs> hey, you guys. Thank you. Okay. You're too, you're way really too generous, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Ray. Hi, everybody. Doing? What up, man? What's up, Jojo? How you doing, brother? Uh, man, I'm good for 100, brother. Good, Stay good. Home. Hey, man, it's, it's uh, an honor to have you on the line, man. And uh, you, you coming up here, man, to... Uh, endorse this guy's ministry man because i mean you've seen a lot of talent come and go i'm pretty sure you know what's talent and what's you know what needs work so you for you to call here and say pause for this brother tell me how you got involved with uh with a governor you know um you know i always say i always believe that um those that ought to meet will meet um, you know, I believe that it was always God's plan for us to cross paths. Um, God actually came my way through a young lady named Capri Jackson out of Atlanta. Um, I also, inside of my day-to-day -day operations at KWL, I also am a training life coach, and I do a lot of business coaching and consulting. So um, they came, Capri brought, brought him to me as a, a client, as someone that was you know, looking for some coaching around his his music career. And, um, you know, I heard the music, and mostly I heard the testimony. And um, as someone who works day-to-day -day inside of um, uh, an industry that is where, where, you know, contrast is abound, you know, you got, you got people that are... On the outside, looking like they live in one way, and then closed doors live in another way, and don't know how to bridge that gap. Um, you know, we all go through it. I know I've gone through it. You know, um, to, but to hear someone who is willing to to be vulnerable and and share his story in such a uh, authentic way was powerful to me. And um, I wanted to just get involved and see how I could support him in um, standing in the vision. And bringing that forward. Wow, man, that, that is that is awesome, man. I appreciate that. And oh, you know, the the thing about you know, let's ask about this question. You actually entitle yourself as Urban Inspiration. Is that what it's called? Yes, sir. Tell me how you got to that title with, with identifying your your form of music. It was something that uh, me and my team we collectively came up. Uh, Mr. Jojo and Miss Capri Jackson and Mr. Brian Banks, my manager. Okay. Um, we just uh, wanted to separate, uh, not 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 really separate, but distinguish, should I say, uh, my myself from um, the uh, normal mm -hmm. arena, and uh, it, it was just something that we wanted to do, and um, and just to put it in perspective for me and my style of music and the things that I write about, mm -hmm. and not only that, you know, the people gave us, um, you know, this motivation to do this because we get a lot of testimonies from people mm -hmm. as far as how the music inspires them you know and we just wanted to 
to, you know be set apart and 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 represent something that's 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 different. Okay, you know now, JoJo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something, man, because I, I want to get your executive advice from an entertainment standpoint. Is there really you know room for the music that we we talk about? Because it seems like you know I know I love it, and there are a lot of people that say they love it. Then it, then you run into people they don't know what it is sometimes. I mean, with from from your perspective in the business. Where where is this particular music? Where's the place for this music? I mean, I know I love it, but where is it in? Well, you know, being an interesting fact, and you know, if someone is fact checking, please please um um you know investigate what I'm about to say, um because I get I get so many emails every day. But if if my memory serves me right, I received an email recently around around um sales. It was a sales related email. Okay. And if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, on iTunes, Christian fast inspirational music was outselling rap. Say that again now. Christian music was outselling rap on iTunes. It was either iTunes or Amazon or one of those places. Oh, you know what? Christian. This particular this particular week, Bizzle is is was out. He was number one on the uh, uh, on the iTunes charts this week. For, for quite some time, and I'm, I'm not sure what his actual numbers are going to be, but I um, mean, and he was doing that on his own without any distribution. So we clearly, you know, so you, you from a professional standpoint, you know, there's space for this now. I mean, it, it kind of, you know, walk me through what do you see Governor Reese two years from now based upon your um, expertise on the business? Well, you know, one of the things that, that I've learned um, from my mentor, Kevin, Kevin Lyles, is, um, you know, we can't predict the future. But what I would say is, if he continues to stand in his vision, and, you know, which is to be the number one, listen to, most downloaded, most sold, urban inspirational artist in the world, if he stands in that vision, and I think that there's nothing that will stop that vision from coming to pass. Um, I believe that we are in a time on the planet where people want to be inspired. Um, I believe we're in a time on the planet where where people with um, leadership is in demand. I believe we're in a time on the planet where you know people are becoming comfortable with what it is that convicts them, and whether or not everybody believes in t- believe everyone believes what that is, is actually secondary. Okay. But what is important is that we, we create a planet where, where healing is the norm, where forgiveness is the norm, where the love is the norm. And how that ties into your question is because I believe that's where we're going as a planet, the possibilities of his popularity, his marketability, his sales is, is unlimited. But more important, or, or let me say equally as important, is the contribution that he is to the planet. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mr. Bram, I appreciate you for hanging wow. out with us today, man. And uh, hey, man, feel free to call us back anytime. We we love this knowledge, man. It, and thank uh, thank uh, you so much, Mr. Dojo, for those kind of words. I really appreciate that. Right. Hey, listen, and guys, you know, before before I go, and, and just to, to kind of bring it right, like. You know, because Governor, you know how we do. We, we get all deep down into it. But if you want to just bring it down to earth for a second, it's real simple. You got you got Christian and inspirational gospel music selling right now. You got you got more and more people wanting to to um to to mix their their beliefs their beliefs in their profession. Governor Reese is the poster child for that. He's a product of choice. Mm-hmm. He's a product of choice. So I think that, to me, is what's so powerful about it. So anybody listening out there, the man has been through, his testimony is, it may not be any different from yours, but what he, he took an empowered perspective about what occurred in his life. And because he took an empowered perspective, he's able to, to contribute the music that he's able to contribute. And I work with everybody from the big songs of the world, I get to the trade songs, to the two lover, and he, his his testimony is just as relevant oh. to me as as it is as they are to their audience. So 
So I'm with him 100%. I'm going to continue to back him, support him. And don't be surprised if you don't see some of these major artists that I'm working with collaborating on, on a governor record. Wow. wow. On a governor record, wow. sending yeah, that message awesome, out to the world. So I, I'm just glad, man. Glad keep doing your thing. Yes, sir. You know, um, anytime you guys want to talk, I'm here. And, um, you know, I got love for everybody out there. Hey man, thank you for your time, man. God love God bless you, you too, man. Mr. Jojo. God bless. And I'm gonna say this: Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Happy Mother's Day, absolutely. All right, man. Thank you for your time. We're gonna take a break here on the Antonio Johnson Show on JeffWIRadio.com. Uh, Wiz, you didn't. You, I know. You, I'm gonna let you say your questions when we come back, man. I'm good, man. You good? Okay. KB, you. I'm gonna let you. I know you. Ask him a question. And give him time to think during the break. Because I know <laughs> KB got a question. Go ahead, KB. What you got, man? In your ministry, uh, what impact do you think you're making uh, with with people that's been down that same road? All right, all right. Say that answer. Say that. We're yeah. going to take a break. Yeah, you're it's right. the Antonio we'll John Shaw, DFWR Radio. That's right there, Governor Reese. I'm going to live. Man, that song is fire, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank man, you. that's fire, man. I love that song. I appreciate I'm trying it, not man. to sing it, man. Yeah, go, say, go ahead. Go ahead with I'm it. Gonna live. I'm going to live. I'm going to yeah, <laughs> I'm thinking about my eight year old son. He get eight year old son, son, son. He get crunk with that man. Yeah, man, that's 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 hot, man. That particular song right there, man. Just, just kind of give me the testimony about that. One. Well, you know, I uh, there were moments in my life where I just didn't want to live anymore because I got so far down. You know, mm -hmm. I was so far down. You know, when I reached up, I was still only scraping bottom. You know, uh, and all I saw was darkness. And after seeing all the people that I disappointed and 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 hurt you know and I, I took a look at myself and i had saw what i become what i had become you know i just didn't want to live anymore mm -hmm. and uh the holy spirit spoke in my heart and told me that you all you will live you know and and immediately i started singing i'm gonna live yeah and i can't see what lies ahead the way that i was living i should have been, been dead. dead i guess god had other plans instead uh -huh. it's a miracle uh -huh. that i'm still here uh -huh. cause i don't know uh -huh. how i survive yeah. all i know uh -huh. is i'm still alive uh -huh. and i'm gonna live uh -huh. Uh -huh. it came to me at that very moment <laughs> oh man that's what i'm talking about we got me geek <laughs> all right man let me, let me calm Great down you got a question before we went to break KB had a question for you, and uh, I'm going to let KB ask you a question one more time. The question yeah. was, what impact do you think you're making with people that's been in that specific situation that you've been in from your testimony? Well, when people uh, that have been through what I've been through look at me or hear my music, they become inspired. You know, um, I give people who went through the things I've experienced hope that you can make it out and you don't have to stay down. You know, uh, my music is inspired by the Holy Spirit. So when people hear my music, it brings life, you know, and strength. And uh, the impact that I pr always pray to make and that the Lord has been showing me that uh, through my music and through t testimonies of his people, that I do inspire people to not give up. Yeah. Hey, go, go, go back to that, that first part you said it's inspired by what? The Holy Spirit. That's important, man. Yes, sir. Some people are inspired by other stuff, but when you're inspired by the Holy Spirit, now you're going to get it fre fresh from H-E-A-V-E-N. Yes, sir. Straight from the pipe. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. All right, man. You know, I, I want to hear another song. I, I do want to hear another song. So let's get, let's get into this music. Those of you who are listening, is this is Governor Reese. He's from New Orleans, and uh, he's an urban inspirational artist. Yes, sir. Is that right? Uh -huh. Urban inspirational artist. Yeah. And... You know, great testimony, overcome a lot, mm -hmm. and here you are now, spreading the music. You got your new CD. I would talk about that. You got your new CD release. Share that information with us, because uh, you know you were here performing on Thursday night. Yes, sir. And where did you perform? I was at Sandaga, uh Eight One Three Jazz Club uh -huh. downtown. Yeah. I believe that's downtown. Yeah, that's downtown. downtown. Yes, sir. It was an awesome night. We had a live band. They were amazing. You know, and and you know a lot of times. Chris, you know we don't want like to go into that that kind of environment but that's yeah. like that's me you know yeah. that's where i was called to go yeah and we shine some light yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about man yes, sir. <laughs> ah, yeah go shine the light bro, man get up in there man i'm with you yes, sir. <laughs> you know what i'm saying i hope you go to some more places man yeah you know a lot of times let me ask you this, I, I, this this is gonna be a difficult question you know 
if you if you're asked to perform at a particular place and quote unquote the quote unquote the church per se goes, well, how are you doing that? You're supposed to be different. You're supposed to be separated. Mm-hmm. Dark can't be with light. You know, how do you respond to that when you know God is taking you into these places? You know, because sometimes people just don't understand. Why was you in that club performing? Right. You know, how do you respond to that when they question what you do? You know, I think people who have those questions, uh, uh, have those that's a valid question, you know, and uh, the perception of our faith, you know, sometimes is uh, misunderstood. Yeah. I believe that we're called to go into dark places with ministry and uh, do things uh, that Jesus would do. So uh, um, my, my, the way I, you know, I was, and the reason why Jesus was able to go into those places is because he was called. And it's just a confidence that I have in my uh, my calling, you know, how what God has called me to do, you know. And I pray for, uh, you know, that my brothers and sisters understand, you know. And there are many that do, you know. Uh, but that's the thing, you know. You, you, I just know what I'm called to do. I just know what I'm called to do. And I'm called to touch people's Man. heart with my music. And point them in the direction of Christ, yeah. and that's m- my calling. So I don't, you know, it's it's when you r- performing or ministering or rapping or singing in a church, you know, a lot of times, you know, those people already know Christ. Mm-hmm. So it's good, and 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 it's 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 a great time of celebration, you know. Yeah. But we miss sometimes the the ministry aspect of it yeah the need the need you know, I mean, let me let me can I, can I give you can i give you a testimony can I, give you, so, so, I i started filming uh a uh, reality show okay about this group of women here in dallas and been working on it and uh you know they don't necessarily represent the things that i stand for in some instances mm-hmm. but i i saw god using the situation because what i started learning was while i was filming these women not one time did any of them say, I'm going to church. Not one time they say, we need to go to church. And I said to myself, there's still a generation of people that don't think like I think. You know, I was raised in church. So my mind always goes, go to church. Mm-hmm. But what I realized filming these women is, that's a generation of people that's not even in their mind as an option. Mm-hmm. So while we're thinking we're reaching, mm-hmm. even though we got TV in, mm-hmm. And, you know, gospel radio stations, gospel online, and all, all this stuff, we're still missing people. Because, mm-hmm. you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? I can't even embrace that I'm standing around some people and I don't see that part. Right. So I say to myself, but, you know what I'm saying? How would I have known that mm-hmm. had I not been filming these particular group, group of women? And so it just, it just made me go, artists like yourself, you're going to be the one. Praise the Lord. It's going to connect with them. Because right. guess what? They're going to be in a club. Right. They going there. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and that's so true. That's so true. I, uh, I, I, God, I found God in my mess, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, it was because of certain ministers and missionaries who came in certain areas where I was and never let me uh, lose, uh, uh, take my eye off a guy, even when I was in my mess. Mm-hmm. You know, and I look at them people like angels almost, you know, because they come down with messages or they come to you with messages from God mm-hmm. that sits with you. You may not respond at the time but those seeds begin to, you know, grow within you. Um, and so that's my that's my heart. That's my heart going into those places where I came from. And I believe my background helps me go in those places, you know, mm-hmm. and you, when you fishing, you don't catch all fish with the same bait. Right. Yeah. You know, you have to switch it up. You know, to catch a certain certain kind of fish, mm-hmm. and so the way I dress, the way I talk, the way I carry myself, all that God use it uses for me when I'm going into these places mm-hmm. to minister. Hey man, I appreciate you know, can that. I, can I appreciate just interject that. something real yeah. quick? You know, he said something that was important, and when you listen to his testimony, he's confident in what God called him to. But normally, when you get saved, you know, in, in what you are going to minister to is normally what God saves you from. If that Absolutely. makes sense to you, mm-hmm. that so, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah, but some people don't. They don't. They don't grasp that. They don't understand that. Like when he say or the questions they ask, you know, why are you going back into the club or why are you doing this? Well, that's what God delivered him from. You know, and that's his ministry. Mm-hmm. 
All right, well, we're going we're gonna to take a break. we got some more music. and get back into this music, man, because I want to get some of your songs out, man. We'll, yeah, we'll right. talk you we'll talk you till we get you. You know, you won't have nothing else to tell. Yeah, you right. need to say some of the VH1 behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> got, a lot, got a lot of footage. All right, good, good. good. <laughs> it's the Antonio Johnson Show, DMWRadio.com. KB, DJ Wiz on the ones and twos, and our special guest, Governor Reese. <laughs> 